Hey guys, I'm terrible in intro, so let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I created this design. So the first thing I did is I went into the, uh, and got me a mobile app. Uh, this is the Instagram Reels video uh, blank template, whatever you want to call it. And uh, what I did is I'm going to go in elements and I'm going to set up my background. So you, what you want to do is set up your background. Let's make it all cutesy bootsy like this. Maybe kind of like this. And this could be like your company logo or something like this. I mean, you can do whatever you want to. The design is yours. I'm just trying to get it. I just really want to show y'all technique versus anything else. And then I made like a little, like a little pedestal. And to do that, I did oh, some gradients. Let me get some black because if y'all know me, y'all already know how to make these things already. Cause I make these all the time. Cause this, that's my jam. It is my jam y'all. All right. So we had another black one on the other side. We want a more pedestal pedestal looking and then you're gonna make it the size you want to like so Whoop. see things are already getting in my way so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on the square that i've turned into this little pedestal and you can go into your elements and look for like a pedestal am i spelling that right Let's do stand. I think I'm spelling that wrong. Stand. So like you can go in here. You can get like one of these and you don't have to make one. I just made one for myself. And you see all these little crowns on here? They don't work for me. So I'm going to take this and then I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to change the shape to a circle. And I am going to swoosh it down a little bit. And... What I did to kind of make it, that is, I think I just turned it black and gray. We got rid of these two like that, and it kind of makes a top. And then what you're going to do is just kind of line it up. And then it kind of looks like a little stand there. And then what you can do is you can group all this to together. Because this is, no, we don't want to group it all together. Hold on. I'm making a, I'm making a bad mistake right now. So you want to, you can group these two together. So let's go into here. I'm going to grab this, control this. I'm going to group these two together because I want to move this personally. I want to move this for my animation. And then the background's not going to move at all. So I can go ahead and click out of that and click these two. Control, control, group these together. Now that I have them grouped together, I want to start off with my animation. I'm going to have one where I'm having this coming up at the down at the bottom so what i want to do now is i'm gonna grab this one and i am going to go ahead and lock it that way it doesn't bother me when i'm doing stuff up here so what i use let's go into the elements so i can show you what i used because there was there's slim pickings for us free users when it comes to this but there was this one right here look it's three different lipsticks so for this i'm going to duplicate this three times well twice honest twice two dupes and then I'm going to separate each lipstick. Separate each lipstick. So now I have like a oh, date night red, little burnt orange, a little pinky poo. So, and then I added some shadows to it, but you can do that. You can do whatever you want to with that. That's up to you. Another style design. I'm just showing you technique. So now that I have these, what I want to do is I want to go in here to my trusty little circle. And I'm going to get me a circle. I am going to make it about, I want it a little bit bigger than what, it, what the uh, object you're going to use is. And then what you want to do is get the center of that object right here on the outside. It, you want to center this object and center this object. So let's position that hold on up front like so. So you want this centered on the edge and it's centered through the center of the circle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to control, you're going to group those together. I'm going to grab that circle and I'm going to make it transparent. And then 
I know this one's going to come in. So if you want it coming in from this side, you want the circle on this side. If you want it coming in from this side, you're going to work the circle on this side. If you want it coming from the top, you're going to have your element on the top, which I'll show you in a minute. So we got this one done and I'm going to reduce it down and I'm going to pull it off a little bit and goodbye. You hide over here. All right. So we're going to do my next one. I am going to grab circle, do the same thing. Now you can duplicate your circles. It doesn't matter. So I want that coming in on the other side. So I'm going to go that over here like so. I'm going to go into position. I'm going to grab it with that one. And I'm going to hit the control key. I'm going to group. I'm going to hit that right there. And I'm going to go transparent. And then I'm going to reduce. And then I am going to shove that over this way. Like so. And this one right here. I am going to do one in the top. So I'm going to grab that. These circles do not have to be like perfect on here or anything like that for this. You just want to get a circle on here so you can use the swoop, the swoop, the swoop motion. All right. So I'm going to go into position like so. I am going to control key, hit this other one. I am going to group it. And then I am going to grab this circle and I want to make it transparent and I am going to whoosh it down and then what I'm going to do is take it up here. Now be careful sometimes and you might have to watch how you put this. If you notice I always put these even if they're coming down on a slight bit of an angle and not straight up. If you do one that's straight up it gets confused which way it's got to turn downward and sometimes you'll see a, a shadow effect where it looks like it's coming down on both sides. It's the same object coming which is kind of cool for something. So if you like that, keep that. But if you want to just come in down one way, it gets the match and move gets confused if it's so you'll see me have it just a slight bit on an angle. All right, now I have my stuff set up. If you want text, you can do your text. Um, I think I did my text on the end part of this because I just put text up and I didn't really do any too hardcore animations. So I'm going to duplicate this. My first page actually had all of them down in the center. So you could do that too if you want to start it. I th no, that's how I ended it and I brought it back up. That's how I did it. So we're going to delete this one. Hold on. All right. So now I got my first page. If you want any text or text effects, you can go ahead and add those on there. But I mean, y'all, y'all are good at text effects. I ain't going to worry about that part for y'all. So I'm going to duplicate my page and then I'm going to bring down, I'm going to go into position. I'm going to find the one I want the first. So I want to bring this one down first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over. Now, remember when you pull them off the page, always have purple on. Do not get your purple to come off because when your purple comes off, we got problems. You lose it. You lose it. It goes bye bye. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make it as big as you need to, to sit on your little pedestal like so oh I forgot to raise my pedestal we go raise my pedestal and have that come down on there I wonder why they look like they were so low I don't get out of my way let's raise this baby up there we go being goofy all right I'm being goofy and then you can put your text in here I think last time I just added my text and added a um, a regular anime text animation effect on it. I didn't do anything special like pulling them off or doing anything crazy like that. I just added those kinds. So then what you want to do after that, you want to duplicate the page. You're going to take this, you're going to reduce it. I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to reduce it teeny, 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 and try to put it in the center like so. And then I'm trying to turn transparency all the way down. So that I'll have that fade out. Even though it doesn't look like the center, remember your lipstick is on the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the page. So the next one I want to be is my gold one. So I'm going to go into position. I think that's the one at the very top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that down. And you can do it in any, any order or any way you want to. And then I am going to swing it around like so. Make it big, 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 big to the side that I want it, need it. Uh 
Come on, baby. Some of these might be bigger than others. I'm just kind of, just want to show y'all technique. I'm not trying to be perfect. But now that we got that, we're going to just go and duplicate that one. Same as the last one. We're going to take it and we're going to smoosh it down. Smoosh it all the way down. Make a teeny, teeny, teeny. Uh-oh. I like that, though. Take it to the center. Make sure your lipsticks look like they're in the center. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do transparent. Then we're going to duplicate. We're going to go grab that la last lipstick. And I am going to bring it over. Spin it around. Bring it down. Make it big. Like so. And then we're going to duplicate that page. And then same as before, we're going to take it, make it teeny, 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 teeny. Like so. And then turn the transparency down to zero. Make it disappear. Hey, what's going on here? I should have disappeared. It. There it goes. Disappear. All right. So now that I have my whole thing done, what I'm going to do is I am going to go into my transitions like so. Hit my match and move, turn it all the way up, apply between all the pages. I'm going to turn my pages into, let's do, let's try two. Enter, two, enter, two, one. All right, we got two. Can we go with two, one? Two, one, two, one. Two, one. There we go, two, one. All right, so let's. Let's check out our animation. So we're going to go here. We're going to go up and we're going to go here. Your next one's going to come down. And now you're going to adjust that for, you're going to make your middle ones probably longer because you know, you're showing a, if you're showing a product. So for my very last one, what I did and wound up being the first one too, when I finished this was to go in and duplicate this page. And then I took, I went into position. I, first, I pulled this down. I didn't pull it all the way off, but I just pulled it down. And then I went into my position and grabbed my lipstick. Hold on, come on. And I grabbed my lipsticks, turned the transparency up on them, and then I made them a little bit bigger and kind of. Then you can go and just mix them in any old, since that one looks like it's over here, let's do like that. And then you could do something like this. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But like I said, you are designers. All y'all really need to know, do is the, like the technique on how to make them go sideways. And then you could do something like that for your last one. Then we're going to do fly between all pages and make sure our timing is between all pages. How does the timing just, oh, it just always moves. I guess I'm just really bad at this. All right. So let's uh, watch the end part. So we got that last one coming down and then it goes back and then you have the first ones come out. And if you like that and want to start it off that way, you're just going to duplicate the page and bring it to the front. And then you're going to start off the same way and end the same way. Oh, that match and move did not travel. Did not travel. All right, let's see. So as you can see, when it goes off, they go up and they go backwards and they fly off the page and then they'll come back down one at a time. So, I mean, like those are little tricks that you can do and you can have fun with that. Like I said, uh, most of the time I just put the text on here and we'll just put, Hey, now open, just throw that on up there on my first page. And you just can put any, you can animate it. Uh, now open. Let's do a, a pop and then 
you can do your shop name and that goes. And then you can just put your name, the text in here, any old way for, let's see. So this one is sparkle. And then when you get in here, like, so it'll just be like sparkle and then it'll fade out. So you can just do regular text effects for that. No easy peasy. You can go hide, hide flute with them. That's up to you. But that's how you do that. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comment section. And I'll be glad to get back to you. And that's what I got for y'all today. I love you. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.